Good morning world. It's a beautiful fresh winter's morning here where I am. I'm walking through this forest, this woodland and it's incredibly dense with, well, what can you see growing all around me? Ivy, the common ivy, also known as English ivy, but its scientific name is Hederohelix. <laughs> now ivy is a super controversial plant. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people want to see it banished from the land, other people invite it into their gardens and allow it to grow all over their homes. But whether you love it or hate it, ivy, like all plants, has its own special role to play in nature, supporting wildlife. And it also has some really cool practical uses and medicinal uses too. So come with me and we'll talk about everything ivy. Now you can find ivy growing all year round because it's evergreen. You'll find it in the heat of summer or in the coldest winter. And you're most likely to find it growing across the ground in forests. And what it's doing is it's searching for a tree or a wall or a cliff, anything it can scale. All it wants to do is climb and get closer to them precious sun rays. And when an ivy plant is climbing up something, it can grow all the way up to 30 meters tall. Now there's a common myth about ivy and that's that it kills trees. Now that isn't entirely true. It can cause difficulty for some trees if that tree is already weak or diseased. But ivy doesn't cling to trees and draw sustenance from the tree or for any other life form. It's not a parasitic plant like for example the mistletoe tree. Ivy lays down its roots so that means that it gets all of its nutrition from the sun and from its own roots that it lays in the ground. So ivy doesn't need to take its life source from any other plant, it earns it all itself. Now ivy leaves are an amazing shade of green and if you look closely they have almost glowing bright green veins flowing through their little leaf bodies. Now the most common ivy leaf you'll find is this type of leaf where it has five alternate lobes. But just as commonly you might find the ivy leaf that's almost a heart shape. Now the ivy plant has two stages in its life. First stage is the juvenile stage and that's where it spends all its time and all its energy growing along the ground searching for something to scale to get closer to that precious sunshine. And then the second phase in the ivy plant's life when it's called the adult phase and that's when it finds its forever home. The ivy reaches a point where it thinks I can live a good life here, I can settle down. So then it focuses all of its time instead of growing it focuses all its energy on blooming and growing flowers and berries. And the berries are a really important food source for birds during the winter, especially for the northern robin. And ivy is also incredibly rich in nectar too. And that means it really helps support the birds, the bees and the butterflies. Now ivy has some seriously awesome practical uses too. You may have seen them beautiful homes that have allowed ivy to overtake them and grow all over them. Now for a long time that was a controversial thing to do and even devalued homes because people didn't know if it was damaging the home or not. But Oxford did a three year study on ivy and whether it damages a home or not if it's allowed to grow over it. And they proved that it's a positive, not a negative. Basically ivy will act as a thermal shield for your home and insulate your home. It will keep your house warmer, but at the same time act as a thermal shield to stop things like pollution and all the environmental things that slowly weather your home. And now another amazing thing about the ivy leaf is these beautiful little leaves contain a chemical called saponin, saponins or saponin we say and that basically allows you to make laundry soap from this amazing plant. All you have to do is a simple little cooking process and you can make laundry detergent from this and that can wash your clothes just as good as any stuff that you buy in a store apart from it's a lot less damaging for the environment and it's a lot more of a nice natural way to clean your clothes and if you would like to know how to do that I'll link the video at the end of this video. Now one of the most fascinating things about ivy is its medicinal properties. Ivy's been used since ancient times for its healing abilities and it's been used to treat a whole host of ailments but you'll even find it today in things such as big farmers cough medicine because all of ivy's healing abilities center around respiratory conditions and how it can help us. It relaxes the airways so it can help you heal and breathe. Ivy can be used to treat things such as just simple coughing but it can be used to treat asthma and bronchitis too. 
NASA even did a clean air study on many different plants and they proved that ivy not only can help heal your breathing but it actually purifies the air around it too. They proved that ivy draws in toxins that are bad for us and takes them out the air and if you put ivy in a room say a room that suffers with mold a damp room it will reduce the mold in that room by 78 percent. How incredible is that? So this little plant that some people tear down and treat it like a menace this little plant not only helps clean the air around us and give us fresh air to breathe it can also heal our ability to take in that fresh air so do you think ivy is an invasive menace that needs to be stricken from the land or do you think ivy deserves a bit more love and respect and should be cherished for the little medicinal marvel that it is let me know in the comments what you think about Ivy. As always, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Ring the bell and I'll see you all next time. Peace.